Well, that concludes the story of Jake and Deuce, but it doesn't conclude the story of the Inner West. We forget that in the Inner West, there are not only people, there are many animals that are at Lewisham. There are bandicoots who live at Lewisham, and there are many, many different kinds of bird and fish. Brian, our lovely sound engineer, and myself have joined the River Canoe Club. This is actually for real. And once a month, we paddle the Cooks River collecting rubbish. On our last trip, we collected a bunch of plastic bags, a witch's hat, and a suitcase. Thankfully, it was an empty suitcase because, you know, down in Maryville, not always can be guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> a few years ago, he was supposed to lock himself in his bag and then uh, left himself in the bath. Yeah, exactly, uh, exactly. Like anyway, it. this one, this this poem. Sort of Russian attack, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Jono. This poem <laughs> is about the wildlife or a particular form of wildlife, uh, frequently found on the Cooks River, that is greatly mocked and reviled as the bin chicken. Oh, oh my God, that's the But really, as you, can tell, as you will be told from this whole poem, it's a lot more, uh, there's a lot more to it than that. If you could hear me, this is what I would say. Once we were worshipped as gods, our beaks shining like the crescent moon, dipping into the dark Nile waters like a quill into ink. What poems we wrote for Tot. My home was once a pleasant place, cool water, lush grasses. We ibises lived there since Gondwana cracked and founded itself free from Pangea. Our lives may not seem all that consequential to you talking apes, ever busy with your plans and dreams, eating, mating, hatching, dying. The endless cycle of birth and rebirth is enough for us. Then the water in our pond started drying up. The grasses browned and died. The eggs did not hatch. We died in numbers we cannot count. Like the stars in the sky, our bones littered the dry, bare earth. Those of us with strength enough took flight followed the winds until we found refuge in the filthy concrete bank river you call Cooks and we call Gulliari, <laughs> where once the Gadigal people fished, their children splashing in the shadows. They are long gone from your sight. We see their shadows under the moon while you sleep. We, former gods in another dry land, you now revile as vermin, smelly, ugly, Greedy. We live off the detritus of your lives, the scraps of food you cast away uneaten, nesting in your rubbish. Our young thrive on the garbage you dump. It is not our ancient bird form you see when you watch us snatch crust through a bin. Our beaks still shine under the moon. Our numbers increase while you plot our destruction. Too late! We are here to stay. Our old home is long gone. Our new home suits us better now. We have adapted just like you. We are your mirror. Living with you, we have become what you are. Not gods, not men. Refugees surviving in a hostile world. If I could speak to you, would you hear me? Yeah, that's great.